Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all doing really, really well. Of course, last video I did a comparison between junior and senior developers. I think, I think the video was well received, so today I'm gonna do another comparison video, but this time it's gonna be between generalist and specialist. So breakdown of the video, three important points I wanna talk about. We're just gonna get through them and hopefully it's helpful. All right, let's get started. Before we get into it, I think it just needs another introduction. Sorry, for people that might not be familiar with the words generalist or what they mean, generalist versus specialist. So for this video, everything we talk about is in the context of software development, coding, computers. There's a lot of people that think software is just synonymous with tech, which is wrong these days. So if you wanna become a neural network designer, if you wanna become this insane computational neuroscientist, that's a very, very different track and learning how to code, all right? So just make sure you separate those two. So a software generalist, my opinion of what this means is that you can give this kind of person a very abstract problem and he or she will be able to solve it. So it's just like a random business person has an idea of something. Hey, I wanna make an alcohol cookie delivery service. If you give that problem to a generalist, he or she will have all the right tools, be flexible, be able to work in different environments to solve that problem on a macro scale. Now on the flip side of that, on the other side of the spectrum, let's talk about specialists. Specialists, more often, they don't solve really abstract, broad problems. When you hire a specialist or when you talk with a specialist, you know exactly what they're good at and that's the job they're gonna do. You're not gonna ask a specialist to, hey, build my pizza delivery service. You're just gonna ask them very, very specifically, I need you to build the algorithm for my pizza delivery service and that's it. So specialists, they're just really, really good at one thing. They know they're good at one thing and you hire them to be good at that one thing. All right, so I hope everyone's getting a gist of what these two things kind of represent. That's a quick introduction, but now my three most important points of what to remember when considering these two styles. So first, you always have to be a generalist before you become a specialist. This is another fancy way of saying learn your foundation first but more often than not, a specialist is kind of created from a generalist at first. I think eventually, all of us naturally in life, as we just progress in life, we find things that we're good at and we try to push those things out a little bit more. So I think naturally, stuff I'm trying to work on, everyone is trying to work on is that you always, always start as a generalist, being flexible, knowing how the big picture works. And eventually when you find something you're very passionate about or something that speaks to you, you start slowly becoming a specialist. And I think this is only natural, but remember the progression is always generalist first and then you become a specialist and it doesn't go the other way around. Point number two, very important point, but point number two between generalists and specialists is the mindset. And this is very, very important because it maps very closely to your personality. Various personalities are drawn to different sides of the spectrum. So first, let's talk about the mindset and personality of a generalist. I think a generalist is very flexible, very open-minded. They like taking this large unknown problem and potentially implementing a basic solution for this problem. They're flexible, they can jump around different technologies, they don't mind, they can work with a diverse set of people. They just like working on the problem more so than working on the tech, if that makes sense. But that's kind of the personality of a generalist. You can dive into any problem, you just like solving anything and your mind is very open, very flexible. Okay, so now let's talk about the personality and mindset of the specialist. I think the specialist is a little more elite. He or she knows what they're good at and what they provide, what they provide most value in. They don't care about flexible problems, building a business person's idea from scratch. If you tell a specialist to just build your random pizza delivery service, they're gonna be like, no, 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 have someone else do that. Come back to me when you need real help. So maybe a generalist would build the MVP. Maybe a generalist builds the foundation of a pizza delivery service, but they grow so, so large that now they need technical operations. Now they need a crazy security expert because the pizza operation is so large. Well, when that happens, you have a very, very specific need. You have to bring in the elite people. I need a security expert, so I'm gonna hire Joe because he dominates security. So if that's your personality, the personality of a specialist is very, I'm good at this, I know I'm good at this, and this is the value I provide. 
So point number two, this point about personality, I think is the most overlooked points because most people try to decide what they're gonna do based on what the market says or what's most sexy. But really, a lot of it is dependent on just your personal, your personality. So what you like doing, are you more of an elitist? Are you more flexible? Like, do you like working with a lot of different people or do you like working on one thing? But just usually you have to take your personality into account a little bit more when deciding what kind of track to take instead of trying to look at the market or the trends or whatever. Just what are you drawn to? What part of the spectrum do you lie? And that'll be maybe a better indicator of what kind of path to take. Last but not least, we have to talk about job prospects. It's loud. I sat next to construction. There's nothing I can do. It's already too late. I have to, I'm going to talk over it. I have to. So job prospects but obviously if you're a specialist you're specialized or less jobs and the companies are going to pay you more to do that one thing really really well you're probably not suited for a small company for a startup where you have to wear a lot of different hats specialists usually go to larger corporations that know exactly what they want so what that means is you'll probably go into the R&D department of a big company or you're gonna be the security guy at a really big company or you're the network guy you're the AI guy but you usually go to a larger place because they can pay you more obviously but they also know exactly what they need you to do now for the generalists obviously generalists there's a lot more of you there's a lot more of us so there's many more jobs there's still a lot of job opportunity we get paid a little less than the specialist but it's a little more flexible because that's the whole point right you're a generalist you can work in many many different environments on many different things one thing that generalists are particularly good at I think is working at a startup because startups are so open-ended you solve very vague abstract problems you sh you shift a lot so the mindset and the skill set of a generalist is particularly suited for the startup in addition to that I don't want to say that generalists can't work at big companies because the big companies like Amazon Google and Facebook they need a ton a ton of generalists as well those big companies are always creating new products creating new services think about all the different products that Google creates so those companies they're always they're still shifting they're still making new things and they need flexible people to you know point them in different directions it's like okay work on Google Drive now okay Google Apps okay Google Plus or all these different things but generalists they have a place anywhere they can work at a startup they can work in big companies there's always a demand for them because they're flexible and they can work on anything Ugh. it's too loud it's too loud we have to move all right, let's do a quick summary before signing off. But if you're thinking about this problem a lot, make sure don't try to become a specialist before you're a generalist. Don't try to just become a rocket scientist straight out of college, first thing. You can get there. If you know the specialty you want to go and that's your North Star, that's really good. But remember, always there has to be some kind of foundation and base first. And for many of us, that starts as being a generalist and we naturally move in a particular direction. Second, always remember to make sure you take your personality into account. Don't just try to go with the markets and the trends. Different personalities match the spectrum a little bit more. Remember, open-mindedness versus I'm super good at this. Finally, if you worked for a while, you kind of have an idea of your personality, you know if you like open-ended problems or you know you like working on very, very specific things. But once that happens, the decisions you choose to place yourselves on your path start becoming a little more clear so if you're a specialist you might want to surround yourself with more specialists if you want to build rockets maybe you got to go to spacex and build more rockets with elon musk or something but if you're a generalist and you just like solving problems rather than solving specific technology maybe you want to go work at a healthcare startup because you care about healthcare you want to go into education and share your software knowledge with a lot of people so after you kind of figure out your personality then you can kind of choose your path a little bit better so that's it for the video hopefully it was helpful just spitballing on what i think are the major major differences between these two different styles generalist versus specialist everyone you're all gonna find it you'll find out what clicks for you and that's it so like the video share the video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment all the good stuff and better audio next time